token population. All divided living nations, from Croatians to crustaceans, is a dissertation from a recent meditation. Live your life in love and for goodness sake with patience, because we're all mutations of the same one relation. A diverse civilization, not segregation, but sometimes, sometimes, I want inflammation at the petrol station to wake up the nation from satanic sanitation. I'm losing patience with this godforsaken incarnation. With eternal damnation as religious foundation, there's not enough headroom for heart contemplation. It's my estimation that my fascination with truth excavation is less a vocation, more a path to salvation, a true liberation from cruel domination. My healing, a reeling desperation for a healing explanation is probably a result of my floridization. And for your information, that's no fabrication. There's no real education on the TV station. BBC Three's third eye suffocation. Propaganda Central, that's my accusation. Propagated and created by elite blood relations. A manifestation of their aggravation. Eve's dropped down the pub. It's in all conversation. Evolution is real, but in deceleration. An evil sensation. More confirmation of this sovereign confiscation can be found in strangulation at the police station, where incarceration meets a natural frustration, freedom with a slight Orwellian translation. If there was real organisation for weed legalisation, I'd say fuck the free world and embrace hibernation as my new occupation. No confrontation, just illumination, a true restoration of realisation, no room at the inn for religious retardation, fuck God's narration, give in to temptation. We're a manifestation of God's exhalation, a cosmic nation. I feel I'm on the verge of universal penetration with no reservations for so-called reputations. I'll be home one day to a standing ovation while my galactic family wait in anticipation. I only came to earth for a brief visitation. My old speculation brought a bold revelation. While most folks are headed for extermination, believe me, I'm sad for your inactivation. I don't mean to be mean to spread intimidation, but there's too many sheeple and no shepherd can save them. My adoration for bright adulation has been replaced by a need for a true declaration. I'm on the cusp of a true resignation. The Wall Street occupation, though a neat simulation, was a brief reservation for complete transformation. But if your inclination holds no motivation, adios amigo, enjoy your enslavement, pick your shit off the pavement, dehumanization, I'll see you on the next universal rotation. For eternal hesitation, there's no explanation. The time is now, so seize it. Seize your reformation. The future is our creation but it's an open invitation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just realised I don't have a stool. A seat. A, uh, a seat. Thank you. This is a song, as you can see. Uh, I wrote this in ages ago, like nearly about five years ago. Seven? Yeah, five years ago. Uh, it's called Cricket. I'm not a sporting 
Thank you. Um, um, it was normally at this part of my set I would launch straight into my masturbation poem without fear, but my mum's in the room. So I'm going to do uh, a cover, an Elvis Costello song, which you might know, um, called What's So Funny About Peace, Love and Understanding. If you don't know it, uh, check it out.